Hello everyone, we are Apocrypha World, and this is Apocrypha Zera, Episode 5. Alright, hello everybody. Hi. What's going on? Hello. Alright, yeah, let's let's call a uh let's call the roster, okay. Astrid. Present. Costal. Yeah, what the hell you want? Serge? Yes, I'm here. Ah. Very good. Okay. I'm glad we're all here. Um, So, last time, you all went through this ancient temple that's been seemingly retrofitted with labs, trying your hardest to figure out what the hell happened here, what's going on with these statues. You found a room where a man had barricaded himself in. Uh, you learned from him that... There's something going on with these blue statues. You needed to destroy them. You started doing that. You found a prototype shotgun hatchet. You also found a strange vial of swirling red and gold liquid under a very large alchemy station in the bottom levels. You made your way up, found a strange old tome. Made your way deeper in. Found a room with strange mirrors. And one of them, the one that wasn't broken, showed you a forest path with strange plants of blue and purple. And then, you made your way into the room that you probably, you know, a wiser person may have avoided. With blood everywhere. And found out that they were doing some freaky experiments that did things like heal, but also cause uh, mutations and uncontrollable shit. Right? We all we all remember the horror. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You found out about uh, some strange orbs that make things levitate. Ah, uh, and at the end of it, that's uh. That's pretty much what you know. So, uh, well, welcome back, guys. You were just leaving the blood-stained room. Uh, and you remember that the only two places you haven't searched are the room that is now to your northeast and the room at the far end of the hallway. All right. Let's backtrack and check that door. Leave no stone unturned, I guess. I've got your six. All right, I'll head to the door down the hallway. Uh, to the the northeast or yes, all the way down to the northeast. Okay. So you make your way up to uh, to this door, and as you check it, you, I guess, hit the little panel next to yes. it. Yes. I, I actually before I hit that panel, I'm gonna check for traps. <laughs> Okay, yeah, go ahead. Is that an insight roll? Oh, it's a search roll. Yeah, you're not getting shot in the... F you're not getting shot in the chest again, huh? I'm not taking damage this time around. I might be taking damage this time around. <laughs> <laughs> what'd, you do? what'd you get? That's a seven. We're good. Ah. Kind of. You got Kind saved. of. We're kind of good. Yeah, that was a really, really shitty roll. Um, just in case you were wondering. Uh, the door opens, uh, but to your shock and to your shock and surprise, yeah. you are totally fine. All right. There might have been a trap here at the door, but let's keep an eye on this room. Watch yourselves. So as you walk into the room, the first thing that stands out in the room are two more statues dressed like the others. One shattered from the waist up, the other having a horrified grimace twisted onto its face. Four long tables line the northern and southern walls. Their beakers and other equipment are strewn about the floor. Shattered and in disrepair with a strange machine stationed in the middle. There you go. That's uh, that's what you're looking at. What 
happened here. I would presume the same thing that's happening in the rest of this place. What is this? What is this huge machine in the middle here? Nah, I'm more concerned with the smug fucker over here. So, as you point out, as you point out the machine, uh, it has a three-pronged clasper at the top, but otherwise looks to be a sphere on a pole. So, go ahead. Uh, I was going to investigate that statue first. It's got the grimace. Uh, all right. Yeah, go ahead and... Uh, Another search. Yeah. Much better. 21. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, you... Uh, you... <laughs> You find a missive conch within the uh, intact statue lab's coat pocket. All right, I'll proceed to listen to it. Which, and once again, the coat itself, unlike the blue statues, is not made of stone or hard, I guess. It is just floppy, like clothes would be. All right. Okay. All right. So... I guess you're going to listen to the missive conch? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you hear uh, Science Team Beta, Entry 9. We finally understand what this machine is for. At least somewhat. The orbs we found function via a kind of uh, magnetic field, as far as we can tell. Presumably produced by some internal magic. One of Mardale's knuckle-draggers took an orb outside yesterday to try and see what was inside. The idiot cracked it open and it exploded. They're still finding pieces of him strewn about, or so I hear. <laughs> I guess we know, uh, they're caustic. Anyway, on topic, I believe this machine is used to test the orbs and make sure their power fluctuations are within some form of acceptable parameters. The antecedents were brilliant, but I wish we understood their language so we could read their notes. Regardless, we came for the veil, but these are showing actual promise. <sighs> we could maybe even fly with these, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Regardless, I'm glad we finally have something to report back with. And then it just cuts out. After, after Serge listens to this, he, uh, he looks over at Costalis and Costalis and tosses the missive conch over to him. Uh, I, I catch it as I've as I'm in this, like kind of investigating this. Give me a and... swift roll for physical and the swift. And act, action agility. Yeah. Oh. Well, uh, yeah, action agility. Yeah. No, you're good. Uh, Math is hard. Yeah, you catch it. <laughs> that will explain <clears throat> something about that machine over there. Oh, okay. Well, why not take a listen to it? Beta team it. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we got some kind of uh, weaponry here, apparently. Yeah, whatever it is, I don't like it. I don't either. I wonder if this is the thing that caused this whole uh, shebang. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Now, this statue, you said it's not like the other statues? Well, it's gray. It's gray. Like but those are right. gray Still and not blue. Though. I mean, presumably you could smash one. Because I still have Astrid's tool pry bar thing that he had. I mean, sure. I'm gonna give it a whack. Straight in this smug face. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's, go it's ahead. Twisted. Physical. It's twisted. Twisted. Face. Give me a melee weapons attack. Who, uh, who has the, the hatchet gun? Was it me that brought it? Okay, cool. I, I had, I had combined arm on my 
on mine. I yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, okay. a combined arm. Ah. Uh. You whack the statue uh, as hard as you can, and like a big chunk cracks out of it. Uh, but you can feel the like blow just go down your arms. You know, like if you've ever hit like a like a Vibration. piece of metal with a metal baseball bat, uh, and it hurts really bad. Uh, but whenever you kind of like pull back, uh, some blood actually starts spurting out of it. Yeah. Uh, you've hit oil. <laughs> Something like that. Hey, uh, you guys want to help me break this thing out? Yeah. Uh, b- break it out? It's it's bleeding everywhere. Oh, bust we should probably this. stop the bleeding if you're trying to bust it out and save it. No, I'm not trying to save this thing. I'm just trying to make sure all these statues are destroyed. I mean, I'll remind you, you have left uh, other statues like them around. I oh, thought we smashed all the blue ones. That's what we yes. Were coming up. Yeah. You smashed all the blue ones. Okay. But not the gray ones. No. No. This is odd. This is why you have not seen one bleed up until this point. Serge, I don't think you should hit it anymore. Uh, fair enough. Seems off. Here's your tool back. It's gonna walk off, searches the rest of the room. It's it's just gonna stand here and bleed. Am I the only? Th- is, is this the only thing that's concerning? Like, uh, is no one else concerned by a statue bleeding? Little pieces of stone start to fall off of it, one at a time. A little bit more, it cracks down the face of it, and it's hatching. And as it does, it just starts to really like crumble from the head down. And you basically now see a guy's head that you've caved in, essentially. His eyes are rolled up in the back of his head. His head is caved in where you hit him. And uh, as the rest of it crumbles, he just falls over. Serge, I think you killed someone. Well, better we kill him before he kills us. He didn't seem to do anything. He just caved somebody's face in for no reason. Look, I mean, it was a, it was a rock, just a few seconds ago, but now it's a bleeding rock. I, it's clearly a person. I didn't like the way he looked. I don't want any surprises. Fair enough. I'd much rather have this shit buried than someone else try to use it. Well, I know we were supposed to destroy all the statues, but this is uh, th- this one's different than the other ones. They're, they've all been they've all been blue. This guy this guy just looks like a regular old. I think I have to side with Serge on this one. I don't want to die again. Yeah. Alright, well, let's blow him the fuck up. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my explosive arrow and do the other one, I guess. Okay, yeah, no, go ahead. Fire your explosive arrow underground. Stalas, I wouldn't waste the arrow, and that might cause something else to, to explode. I wouldn't. I mean, I don't... Okay. Don't know how stable let's let's. Okay. I will use the hatchet gun. Go, go it's uh, it is broken. Is the hatchet part working? Oh wait, I have just have a, I have a hatchet. Never mind. I was gonna say yes. You can <laughs> hit it with the very advanced, expensive broken gun if you want to break it further. No, I I will. Use... <laughs> it's already broken. We can't fix it. Just... <laughs> I will use. <laughs> Yeah, it could possibly be like an upgradable item that will be like a like a you did a good job gift at the end of. A... I will use the blunt side of my hatchet to 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 hit it in a non-vital area. Okay, go ahead. Uh... Wait, you, your hatchet gun? No, no, just his I hatchet. I have a regular hatchet. Okay. Yeah, he did the smart thing. He was like, "Wait a second, this isn't a beach." This is my bathtub. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Is that swift action? Uh, uh, is that a... mm, What what does it say? 
It, I think that would be a strength action. Strength or a, a melee weapons. Excuse me. I'm yeah, sorry. A melee weapon. Okay. Uh, but is it is it, it's a is it a medium or light melee weapon? It's a medium. Okay. Well, then you could use melee weapons in swift or physical. Then medium goes either way. Okay. Then I will use it in. I will use it in. But yeah, if you see right next to it, it'll say melee weapons. And the top one says H slash M. Yes. That's heavy slash medium. And then M slash L for the swift is medium to light. Okay. Well, then I will use swift. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Because that's guns. Um, so I got a six. Uh, and you're trying to hit it, like, in a nine non-vital place? Like... Well, if we're trying to destroy him, I guess I'll hit it in the... This one's half of it's missing, anyway. You, didn't you say that? Yeah. Half of the half of the statue's missing. One of the statues you said was... was yes. Crumble already. So then I'll just hit it down in the in the stump, so it's completely destroyed. In the stump. Make sure the legs don't come back. Uh, yeah, so you, uh... You hit it, and as you do, it crumbles much easier. Uh, and underneath is a, like, mostly rotted corpse. You see a lot of bone. Yeah. Ugh. Guys, I, th I think what's going on here is the blue ones are older, and these gray ones, they are, they seem more fresh. Well, you just hit a gray one, too. So, they were both gray ones. Uh, the blue ones whatever's... just crumbled into just rubble when you hit them. Um, whatever's coming out of that one is not fresh, my friend, let me tell you. Well, it didn't just crumble like the blue ones. There was a body in there. Can I, can I search the room further for anything else? Yeah, go ahead. That is seven. No, I mean, it's just a clutter in here. And now there's blood, too. It's starting to smell in here, too. That is true. All right, see if there's anything else you guys can find. Well, I was going to check out, like, the, the beakers and stuff over there on the table. Like, what, see, uh, I know, like, what chemicals maybe they might be. Um, or, sure. Or I identified possibly like the brewing thing. They yeah, no, no. Go, yeah, you go ahead and do that. Uh, that would be a lore history. Man, that sure is some red stuff. Yeah, that stuff kind of looks good, but I probably shouldn't put it in this. I guess that depends on how much you like Costal. What, what's that purple? That was the orb thing that they were all discussing. Okay. That's held in like a on a pole in claspers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. But yeah, when you look at it, yeah, it's uh, it's purpley and swirly, uh, and they were they were saying that uh, that was basically it can levitate. I wanna, I wanna, uh, I I will. Can I do any kind of lore history with it? Uh, yeah, you can try. Though they did indicate, like, hey, we've never seen anything like this before, so. Mm. Then maybe history? I mean, yeah, lore history if you want. That's oh, I literally just said that. I'm so sorry. You're good. That's a four. That's a no. <laughs> Man, this thing's really purple. And swirly. Whatever you do. 
What did the What did the missive conch say? Oh yeah, you didn't even fucking listen to it. Yeah, you didn't give it to me. <laughs> you just oh, threw no, it to that's, the... that's my bad. I still got it. Gustavus. Yeah, excuse me. Yeah, he's over here pondering this thing and like. The that's my bad too. Everything. I forgot that he never even listened. I got caught up in the mystery. The conch will explain everything. Give it to Astrid. Yeah, I hand it, I hand it over. Uh, yeah. So as you as you listen to it, you hear how they're like, "Hey." <laughs> Someone decided to, like, hit this thing until it broke and it exploded, so that wasn't good. But, like, other than that, it, it levitates using what they think to be some kind of magnetic field. Uh, and they think it's, like, a huge discovery, basically. They're like, holy shit, this thing can make things levitate. Well, that looks and sounds really cool. I'm staying away from it. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, that's that's pretty much all you're finding in here, though. All right. So I have. I'm. I'm gonna take. Um, just one of my regular arrows. <laughs> and I'm going to uh, break off the head, and like put it over near the the orb, and see what happens. Interesting. Just like hold it there, and see if. See if it is magnetic. We should probably uh, throw it at it first to, from a distance to make sure that it doesn't do anything volatile. What? Uh. Th throwing would be more fun. <laughs> uh. Uh. So, when I say magnetic field, I mean like one that pushes out, not one that's attracting things because it levitates. Right. So, so it should. If I'm if I'm holding it and I'm like walking up towards it, it would push away from me, correct? Ah, uh, I mean, if it's that kind of a magnet, maybe. I mean, you tell me. Is, is it? Doing they that? think that it's something. Go ahead, do your thing. That's uh, yeah. That's what I said. I was I broke off the arrowhead and. Was walking yeah. Up to uh, it. Well, as you walk up to it, you walk up to it with no problems whatsoever. Uh, okay. <clears throat> well, what the hell could this thing be? You can give me a lore history if you want to try to remember something you may have heard in the missive conch. Uh, that's a seven. Can I try as well? Yes. I mean, I know it's it's just meant for levitation. It uses magnetic fields. Okay. Uh, I got a four. Four. Um, I didn't roll. Okay. Ah. Uh... Well, you know what? I don't usually roll for these, but I uh, I rolled a five, so I'll go ahead and give this to you. You remember them saying that it was in the claspers, and the claspers were some kind of like regulatory thing. Like it was, like they think it was like to test to make sure it's regulating correctly, but like. So the the clasps were a. Like a containment, essentially, or uh, if not that, then just something that's like hold in place, holding it in place, and like like running a diagnostic like on it. I'm not, okay. yeah. So I'm not. I'm not gonna go much further than that. But that's that's fine. That, that works. Um. <clears throat> uh, what is the what kind of is it? I'm guessing it's stationary. Yes. Okay. What are you thinking, Costales? I'm thinking that this thing might be pretty important. We might need to figure out some way to get it out of here. Right. Look for a release switch or something nearby. Is it stationary? Can I try to try to move it? Uh, yeah. I mean, it is stationary, like connected to the ground like the orb though 
Well, it's in the claspers, which are on the pole that's connected to the ground. Okay. Can I can I release it? Can I just lift it off the claspers, or do I need to? Or are they clamped down on the claspers? Are you gonna go try to like touch it and stuff? Which is fine, but like, is that what you're actually trying to do now? I, mean, I don't know. I mean, we've we've got to figure out something to take this back with. Yeah, but you've already suffered booby trap damage. Yeah, this is fair enough. So we got a cloth. And you got cut by a light. Would anyone else like to figure out a way? I'm gonna look for a, a release switch or something I've, nearby. As you look at it closer, you notice that the clamps are not literally clamped okay. on holding it. Okay. There's also like a little base underneath, so it seems like it's like, like just vaguely levitating in within them. They're very close to it, but they're not right, touching okay. it. If you really want to try it, but just be careful. All right. Um, can I can I get like a cloth or something to? A over. cloth? Yeah, just uh, just in case. I mean, you don't have a cloth. I guess you could take some of the blood-stained cloth or the decayed corpse slicking cloth from the lab coat. Right, fair enough, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll, uh, I'm, going, I'm going to touch it, but with my leech suit arm first. Okay. You reach with anticipation and just grab it. No, nothing. Nothing. Okay. All right, I'll pull it out of the cradle there. You twist it out. Lift it. Yep. Lift it out. And it's just in your hand. You've just you've just got it. It's good. Right. Something tells me that that was a little too easy. You could inspect it further. Yes, I would like to. Um, go ahead and. Work for it. <laughs> what would that be under? What would you put that under? Search? Yes. Okay. Oh boy, they just keep coming out tonight. That's a 12. A 12? Yeah. Yeah, uh, as you're looking around, you actually kind of see like this... Almost like a, uh, like a slight indention on a otherwise... Like s- perfectly spherical, smooth device, just yeah. a tiny little dip. Hmm. Interesting. I'll point it out to Astrid and Costalis too. Interesting. Or like a dimple, I guess I would say. But yeah. What do you think this does? Uh, it could be just an imperfection. I mean, your guess is as good as mine. I have no idea what this is. I've seen strange things in my days, but I don't think I've seen anything like this. Should we ask the other timer? Well, I have a name. I'm sorry, I'm bad with names. It's not that hard. Ukeliev. Okay, it's a perfectly normal name. I'm sorry, Ukeliev. <laughs> Ukeliev, have you seen anything like this before? No. Well, it's some kind of new technology. Clearly, they're here researching it. I agree. I would like to look further. All right. I'm going to pocket this. <laughs> Get it in my bag. My uh, satchel. yeah. All right. Uh, what do I What do I write down as the item? Does Serge's bag start floating? <laughs> <laughs> no, and write down what you think it is. Yeah, just make sure that we do know that it is the purple sphere, though. Yeah, Put mean, that in parentheses. I mean, obviously, it's the all spark. <laughs> hey, now, you're an all spark. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. All right. <laughs> it's in my head now, Dan. Hey, do you have the. Uh... What was the thing of. What was the thing of leadership from Transformers? The Matrix. All go. right. It's the matrix of leadership. Yeah. Indeed. All right. So now that you've got the uh, the orb all stashed away, is there anything else you wanted to do before you head out of the room? I will say that to you, by the way, you've been in here for a minute. 
uh, Costalis, I want you to give me... Uh, roll me a, uh, a d20 for physical. We're gonna, we're gonna do a status effect. Uh, that is a 10. Uh, yeah, your heightened senses, you are getting very woozy from the disgusting, rotting smell of this room that you've been in for a while. It's, you're not taking any effect yet, but you, you feel it, like, just because of your enhanced senses. Uh, is nobody else sen- smelling it? I mean, you smell it. It's bad. But to him, where he's a chimer, his sense of smell is way stronger. So, Kostas, what's wrong? Uh, This this place is... It smells like death in here. Uh, Yeah. Uh, Yeah, she got that. Let's get out to here. Let's go. Let's go up the hallway and check out the other end of that. I agree. So, as you exit, you look down the hallway, you see the gross blood stains and the door beyond. Uh, as, as I exit the, the room, is it is it clearing up or is it still... The blood out there? No, 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 my... Woozy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel a lot better the minute you get out of okay. that like stuffy room. Some fresher okay. air. Yeah. Not so fresh. Yeah, it was just that corpse, that like decaying corpse that after he broke that, gotcha. Started just smelling really, really not okay. great. All right. I'm going to check this door for traps real quick. You march down the hallway and check that door. You're focused, lasered in, studying it top to bottom, and you find nothing. You might be getting paranoid, is what you think. Serge in his mind is just like, I just wanted to vacation. And then he proceeds to open the door. Oh, uh, yeah. So you hit the... Pe- <laughs> and instead, I've been shot in the chest. <coughs> I feel like the Tomb Raider. Anyway. Uh, but did you die? So. As you enter, you see... Oh, let's do it. There you go. You see chipped golden railing lines the side uh, uh, chipped golden railing lines the sides of the small balcony the entire room what probably seems to be 30 feet below you is bathed in the same low lighting of the lower floor many strange looking glass chests line the walls and floor space in between uh the walls and floor space in between. Periodically, between these chests are five more of the gray statues. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of what you're looking down at. Um, and uh, as you're kind of, are you, I'm guessing you're kind of looking around... Yeah, from there. Is there any way down into there? Uh, yeah, as you kind of search around, uh, you realize there is no ladder to descend, but there does seem to be a kind of lift stuck halfway up uh, to the left of the platform that you're on. So, like... Well, one, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to fly down to the bottom. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you, uh, you easily yeah, just... Just, like, however you imagine yourself getting onto the railings and then flying down. Yeah, just... <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so you just... Uh, I, uh, where are you wanting to land? Just I honestly just want to go down... To, uh, I'm assuming the lift is right there beside it. I want to kind of go just to the bottom of the lift. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you fly straight down to the bottom of the lift. And is, is the lift at the top or the bottom? 
Oh no! Is it is is it at, like vertically? Is it up at at the railing where we came in? Or uh, is it it's about right? halfway down, so like fifteen okay. feet. It was about thirty feet down. Was uh, the... Are there any switches or anything down at the bottom? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, you are uh, you're looking around and you don't uh, you don't really see like a switch per se but you'd have to kind of give me a uh uh yeah. search search thank you thank thanks nine ten okay uh yeah so as you're looking around you do find what seems to be like a little panel uh that has two just two buttons on it uh and the buttons have like arrows and one arrow is pointing up and one arrow is pointing down uh, well, I'm going to press the up arrow. <laughs> you hit it, and uh, it starts going up a little bit. Okay, up to them. Yeah. Are you going to keep your finger on it, or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay, so you keep your finger on it until it reaches the top. I'm uh, sending this up to you all. Do we, do we hear that? Yeah, I mean, he's just 30 feet down. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to be, like, looking around while I'm doing it to see if there's, like, any thing near me um any kind of threat all right Oakley, Master, uh, yeah so do you want to are you trying to uh inspect the statues the cases what are we doing uh or just trying to d- discern if there's a threat actually yeah i'll go the the statues are they are the, i'm guessing they're the gray ones uh, yeah, as you look at them, these statues are gray, like the others of the top floor, with their clothes, again, not incorporated into the stone. They all wear twisted expressions of fear, and all seem to be frozen in different states of movement. Castalis, what do you see? Um, and of course, you can always search further, or not, I don't Well, I see a bunch of the, uh, the body statues, you know, the the nice preservative ones down here and there uh, they look just as frightened as our last couple of these were a lot more scared than the the blue statues we've been dealing with are just don't touch them we don't want another yeah I, I, I don't want to smell that either is there any way to climb down from this lift no he's brought the lift to us yeah the lift is up there now after you he found the switch after you, after you, Okalif. Uh, so she kind of cr- like just climbs up onto it, and she's like, "My name is Okalif." My apologies. As we awkwardly pile into yep. this <laughs> lift, is there a switch in the lift? Uh, I mean, it's just kind of a flat lift. Okay. All right, bring us down. Oh, yeah, that would be important, wouldn't it? Slowly. So, yeah, I'll press, I'll press the other button. Uh, just... Shh. It goes down, you know, not very fast, but not too slow. Yeah, you know, just, just like, maybe a minute to get just, down 30 just feet. Just right. Moderate. Yeah. Mid. You, mid. you, you get on the, the floor. All right. Do you all have a nice ride? Would have been better flying down, but yes. Well, I'm sorry, I couldn't provide a movie. Uh, no, I wasn't talking. F- I just wish I could fly. I want to uh, search the room a little further. Um, yeah, so what are you going to search? What are you looking for? What are you looking at? Uh, I just want to check the, the tables. The cases that they have there? The cases, um, yes. So, yeah, as you, uh, as you look into them, the glass chests, uh, they seem to be the thick glass distorts whatever is held within, making it, eh, somewhat unidentifiable. Can anyone make heads or tails of what these are? I'll just point it out to the rest of them. I don't think so. Uh, can I make a check on them? Yes. 
I guess I'll lore just... history. I'm I would saying. love for you to play my game. Is that? Oh, yeah. that's yeah. a that's a ten. Um, two, please. These almost look like very thick display cases, and if you just kind of wanted to not display something very well. Because you can't really see that great as to what's inside. But other than that, they look like display cases. And I can't make out what's inside of them? No. It's kind of, like, thick. I want to walk to the, the back of the room. Yeah, it looks like there's some sort of crate or something over there. That, that was the lift. Oh, excuse me. Okay, that's where we came from. Never mind. Uh, I'd like to search the statue. Uh, yeah, okay, give me a search. That's a 13. All right. Serge, don't break them this time, please. You find a small black card in one of the lab coats of the statue. It has a little square with white lines of differing lengths to one end, and the remnants of some design on the other, though it's mostly been, like, faded and worn down. Alright, some sort of... That is a black card. Yeah. Right. Sorry. No, I. <sighs> Just him going. I still might. <laughs> was so fucking Doctor Steve Brule, like. <laughs> All right. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Is that just for one statue, or can I search the others? I mean, you can go around searching the others if you want. All right. Is that a roll for each one? Yes. All right. Uh, these display cases, quote unquote, are they mobile? Go ahead, check them out. I'm just gonna walk up to and kind of press oh. press against one to see if it if it moves. No. Much like trying to push a door that you didn't read that says, use other door, it does not move. What are you seeing over there? Uh, nothing whatsoever through these fucking things. Alright, I rolled uh, three searches for the rest of the statues. The first one was an 18, the second one a 6, and the last one was 8. Um, well, unfortunately for you, which those are good rolls, but no, there's nothing, nothing else, else that you found. Right. So some of these display cases are... Some of them, again, you can kind of see things that are like distorted behind them, you know? A lot of them are like a... Like a just a complete distortion. Some you can see like a purpley distortion underneath. Hey now. This is this is Costalis's inner thoughts here. That purple looks kind of similar to the to that orb that we got. <clears throat> uh that do I need to roll to, like, make that comparison to see if that's the same? Nah, no, nah, you can make that comparison. That's fine. Okay. Castalis, what are you seeing? Well, I'm trying to fit these pieces together, and... Well, it seems like... These little bulbs here have the same color purple in them that our orb has. Serge, can I see that orb real quick? I'll give the orb to Astrid. Yeah. Uh, I bring it over to... to Castalis to compare it. Okay, so uh, one of these... I'd, I'd want to go to one of the ones that's not purple. 
Okay. Um, is there any, like, way to put things into there? Well, why don't you search to see if there's any way to put anything into that? Oh, that's fine. As you start to kind of look around on these things, you notice that there are, like, clamps on the sides of it, like the kind that you might have on the side of a trunk Mm. with, like, the big Mm. metal pieces that kind of go over and release on, like, the the sides of these. Uh, yeah. They're not, like, huge, and there's quite a few of them, but... Well, let's, uh, let's undo... Of those. All right, which one are you wanting to do? Are there? There, these are all long cases that are all connected. So, um, I guess one up there, honestly, by the lift. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you easily, albeit a little bit time consumably to get all of them released, unclamp all of them, and just what you're just gonna open it up. Uh, yeah. Uh, as you open it up, it's pretty heavy, very thick, uh, and as you get it put back, you see three orbs sitting in very similar clamps as the ones that you saw in the other room, or the one you saw in the other room. So there are three inside of the Yes, uh, but two of them seem to be, like, empty, just clear, uh, and the one on the right looks basically exactly like the, the one that, that, uh, Serge took okay. yeah uh, I think I might be on to something here um, I'm, I'm gonna take the orb and put it into one of the, the empty they're not empty there's an orb in there but the orb is empty um, it doesn't have any okay. of the purple stuff okay then I will take out that empty orb and replace it with the other one Okay. Indiana Jones style. Uh, so yeah, you uh, you take you take that orb out, and as you do, you notice that it's not like floating in there either. It's just kind of sitting there. Mm-hmm. So you take it out. Nothing. Stick that one in. Nothing. Uh, do you want to check out the other orb or that you the, pulled out? The, what the one on the right? Yeah. What about it? Um, the one the one that does have the uh, apparently functioning orb. Um, that one. Uh, if I take it out, it's facing um, different. Actually, yeah, ones. yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take that one out. Uh, okay, yeah. Hold on, Castellas. Why is it facing differently than the other ones? Is that like... A, is that like... Is there a reason for that? Uh, no. That That's probably just me not realizing that there is a little bit of a difference because I didn't have that big of a screen. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I, wi- I wish bad. I had thought about something cleverly like that, but no, <laughs> no. You've reached the limitations of my uh, observational My Indiana prowess. Jones brain was kicking in as you're, well. No, you're fine. You're good. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to take the empty one and put it where that one was. Uh, okay, yeah. You um, kind of put that down in there. Why don't you give me a... Uh, uh, an action, uh, either, a, uh, yeah, an action strength for me really fast. Excuse me. Uh, that is a five. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, you, you kind of gently place it down in there. And remove your hand, uh, nothing. 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 It's, it's no, it's not purple. Nope. Shit. Maybe you gotta slam it. I remember in the Miss of Conch, they were hitting it so much that it broke. Oh, you want to do that? Could be my be my guess. 
Don't. All right, let's try it. Don't do that. No, it it explodes if you break it. I'm not. I'm not here for another explosion. Never mind. I don't think that's a good idea. Yes, as he tells you that, your mental image, you remember what the missive conch had in it, and they said that they were still finding pieces of the guy's body who decided to beat it until it broke and exploded. Let's just grab a couple of these orbs and let's hurry this up. I don't like being in here any longer than I have to. Uh, You almost had to make another character. (laughs) I baffle myself with my stupid (laughs) Astrid, it's all right. It's good. It's very funny. All right. Stalus, this is why I drink a lot. <laughs> I'm going to grab. I'm gonna grab two, two of the orbs, two of the functional orbs. Ah. Uh, okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say that you start unclasping them. Yeah. And you're doing that while he's fucking around with Do that. They so they react yeah. at all if I get so, close to one another? Um. N- not that you can tell. You could always inspect them further, though. You could... Yeah, I'll, I'll do a... Uh, should I do a just search. A search? Yeah. And then what, what What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What, what are we doing? Well, since my, my thought process didn't work, I, I guess I'll start collecting the orbs. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna search around the room a little bit more. I'm going to go a little bit, like, towards the wall away from the statue. Where? Am I getting... Like, around where your mouse is. Okay. I'll check yeah. over there for anything. Um... Alright, yeah. Give me a search, I guess. And then... So, you, you're both... Are you just both collecting as many as you can get, or... Yeah. I'm just grabbing two. I got a seven. I got a seventeen for my search. Um, I mean, you're you're not really finding anything outside of what you've seen, unless you were wanting to go look around. Um, what would you get? Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, who got a seventeen? Sorry. Serge. You did. Okay, yeah. Um, you notice that there seems to be one other kind of purpley thing down near the the end of the room. But uh, like purpley swirling in a case. But other than that, no, you you guys aren't finding anything else. But I I was rolling to see if they reacted, if I got them closer to one another. Oh, were you? Okay, yeah. no, sorry. I was doing a um, closer inspection. You didn't, but you noticed that both of them have the same kind of properties, like dimples, right. like indentations. Okay. The like the imperfection of the perfect right. sphere. Yeah. So yeah. As long as they don't blow me up, I'll just put them in my back. Okay. And so you do. Alright. Got two purple orbs. Um, so... Costalis, you're just collecting as many as you can get? Yeah, because I want to see... Are Do these appear to be connected to anything? What do you, what do you mean? Like, are they... Are they there any cables or anything leading somewhere not that you can see Hmm. Uh, but yeah you uh while you're thinking about that uh astrid yeah you're looking around and you didn't really find much of uh really anything Serge, did you see anything further down in the room i'll go check i'll see the Another orb down there at the very end. Does anybody want that orb? Perhaps that's why it didn't. Nothing happened, because we need one more empty orb t- to take the place of the purple one. Well, there are several empty spots now that they've been taking the purple ones. Yeah. Well, do never you, mind. Do you want one for yourself, Astrid? I guess so. Yeah, you might as well get one. Everybody else has one. <laughs> I'm a little behind. It's okay. Yeah, so, uh, let's see. Uh, Costalis, you have three of them. You have two of them. And then, Astrid, as you go down there and you start unlatching them like they have, you have one. Okay. Um, 
So. All right, well, let's wrap this up and get down to view. But yeah, that's uh, that's all you're finding. Uh, and as you look down near the back of this, you see that crumbled wall that you saw like on the bottom level right. that you couldn't get through originally, but could see into this room. Yeah. seen everything I need to see. Mm, yeah, I have no idea what this is for. We're here to report and recon. Let's just get out of here. Alright, yeah. So is that all for you guys? You're yeah, gonna we'll go... Return to the, to the lift. Go up the lift. Back to the else up. Uh, yeah. So you hit the button mm -hmm. as you guys are on the lift. Uh, it goes up, but as it continues to raise and you get further away from it, and your finger goes off of it, the lift stops. <laughs> Do it like before, Kostov. Yeah, you can just fly up there. Was it, wait, I thought I was just, yeah, standing there sending them up. And, uh, oh, I thought you were yeah, already there. there. Oh, no, and then I okay, then you just send them up and then fly up there. All right. Uh, yeah, was there anything else you wanted to do as you guys are kind of walking back out of uh, out of here, past the blood stains, kind of retracing your steps? Should we maybe bury this thing? What thing? Whatever they unleashed. Didn't you say you had explosives? Well, yeah, but do you realize what we just pocketed six of, my friend? No, I know. Fair enough. I think we should leave the, the stoned to be stoned. And do not touch them. And we should respect that whoever else finds this will either die or find something else that we haven't found. Let's just go. Well, hopefully, it'll just be Sardovan, you know, military that comes here and reclaims this after we're gone. And, you know, maybe they will find more things further down in this place. You're not going to blow it the fuck up. This is way too valuable. <sighs> All right, let's go. It was only a joke. I don't think it was. I believe, I would completely believe that you three, Wait. here's my evaluation as of right now, I do believe wholeheartedly that you three would blow this place up without even possibly understanding the repercussions of setting a place ablaze with a bunch of potentially having explosive, highly explosive reactants in it. I didn't well, you anything. can't you can't knock our commitment, can you? I didn't say anything. Okay, we're not done yet. Let's go back. Let's check out the villa and something about that path, the blue and the green. Damn right. We haven't even found any parts of the veil yet. No. Though I must say I can't be upset with what we did find. And there's more to come, but we need to hurry. We don't know what it's like outside, what time of day it is at the moment. Well, yeah, let's hurry along then. Uh, yeah, so you retrace your steps through this old tomb, making your way back through the hallways, the little library section, a research center, back down through the uh what seems to kind of be like a like a reception ish area you pass by one of the statues the great out ones back down the stairs and you have to make your long track all the way back down through until you get to the elevator so are you just going to go ahead and go up let's go you grab the lever crank it upwards and once again screeching metal and brick 
you make your slow ascent. And as you reach the top of the lift, you see that the entire outside, through the little like walkway area that led there, you see moonlight cascading. Down. Well, Kaylin, what do you think they're going to use this... What do you think the Sardovans are going to use this for? Probably some kind of a weapon. Seems oh, so I'm guessing this, uh... This whole place might be some kind of weapon. Would I be right in assuming that? I don't know. I know as much as you know. And right now I know that we need to get out of here. Let's try to head back down through the villa. Watch ourselves. Yeah. Um, uh, can I can I make a persuade check on UK leave? Uh, sure. Also, there is a. Uh... Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Uh, but yeah, go ahead. What are you trying to uh, persuade her? To, like, tell me what she knows about this place. But she's not. She's not gonna listen. Why? What was? Uh, you could also do an insight to see if you believe her. Try that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, as far as you can tell, she's telling you the truth. Um, but yeah, and as you're, uh, as you're doing that, you notice that there is still a blue statue outside. The one that you encountered very first while you were coming in that you didn't know what it was. Interesting. Let's break it. After uh, and as you approach it, a strange kind of ethereal being appears near you and begins wailing and heads straight at you. And that's where we're going to end the session. Damn it! Shit. All right. All right, everybody. We had a dragon... We're getting going. Dragon Ball cuck us, man. We're getting fucking spooky. Uh, yes. All right. So, we 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 got a lot done on this one. You yeah. you cleared out that place. You found some cool shit. Bunch of orbs. Yeah, a bunch of shit. Uh, so blow thank you. Those. <laughs> so thank you everyone for watching and uh we'll see you next time where hopefully nothing bad happens probably will though bye